<laughs> it's life with Bikaba. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bikaba. If you're clicking on this video for the first time, please do not be left behind. Guys, do not be left behind. If you like what you see here, if you enjoy and you keep coming back, please remember to click on the red button and subscribe. Please remember to put on your notification so that whenever I load, you're the first one to know Hori your honey bee is live. And also please like and share. This helps a lot. Guys, please do not take it for granted. Just click the like. You've got nothing to lose. When you subscribe, it's free of charge. Free, free, free. No debit order, no monthly subscription. Absolutely nothing. You just need data to watch my videos. So please, guys, please do not be left behind. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. And to all my honeybees, welcome back home. Welcome back home. Tubula. <laughs> Come back home. Welcome back home, guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for interacting. Listen here, we will never stop doing this. YouTubers will never stop doing an intro and thanking you for subscribing, for liking, for sharing. It means a lot. It might look like a small thing, but having to like someone's video, guys, I'm telling you, algorithm, it makes sure it pushes our videos. You'll see them on the suggestion um, field, on the uh, recommendations for people to watch and to grow this family. We want to grow. I guess, I guess we want to grow and I'm not growing alone. This is just not me here. It's the honeybee, guys. <laughs> so yeah, today it's a Sunday morning. It's around 11 o'clock. I just finished... Um, I got clean. I just finished Hoputa Fela Muntung, um, tidying up the house. And then I'm going to go to my mom's to um, take a car. I'm going to a baby shower in Randberg. Um, a new friend of mine, I've got a new friend. Her name is Ntabi Singh. I've known her for long, but recently we just connected and we are... We are building um, a genuine friendship. So I got an invitation for a baby shower and I'm going to honor it. I mean, you know me. Uh, <laughs> the theme is white, denim, and nude. So yeah, I'm going to go to the baby shower. It starts at 12, so I'm already late because I need to go buy a gift. Go... Um, on my way there, I'll find a mall to go buy a gift for her. And I am so excited. I'm happy for her. She gave birth on her birthday same day with her first daughter so her first daughter is born on the 25th of july and then she's got a son and then now the new baby um was also born on the 25th of july what are the odds like god is creative man god is like i can do it i mean he is god it's amazing it's amazing i think it's it's wild. It's amazing. How I wish. How I well. We, we, we buy one cake for everyone. <laughs> we put one tent, birthday tent. If we're going to have a party, it's one party for all of them. So, yeah, guys, I am so happy for her. I cannot wait to see her because we normally chat on whatsapp and we talk like almost every day so i'm ex i'm excited to see her and i'm amazed um that she is able to come to the shower you know for the fact that she just gave birth and um she's willing to come and celebrate this with us it means a lot you know that is why i'm going full force and making sure that i am there for her as my friend so yeah guys and on i wanted to show you my new glasses these glasses are so cute guys this is from mr price home i bought seven of them and i i mean so i got them from mr price i was plugged or i was influenced by deco language i i, I hope i'm saying the insta name right check her out on instagram it's deco language yes or love language not love language deco language so she bought these and these uh, a vase you put a little flower then put them more tv stand or wherever as it's not a drinking glass but she uh put juice in it and she was advertising them as if it's a um, drinking class how creative is that and i was like yo i'm influenced i'm getting them so i bought seven i was i wanted to buy six i don't know how i bought seven but yeah anyway i didn't waste money because i think it was a hundred and 60 something if i'm not mistaken including delivery yeah for all six of them they are so cute like who champagne man who who get all one color and who honey bee who who sex man so guys if you want them 
you get them from Mr. Price. I didn't unbox with you guys because I mean I don't know how to I got them from Mr. Price Home and they've got a new color now. This one is clear and they've got a, a clear, clear greenish nyana. So they are also cute. I want them too. So yeah, let's go guys. I do not want to waste time um because it's gonna be a long day and i'm only going to a baby shower today i'm gonna i'm not gonna do much so let's yay ah, i'm in my dancing mood so i was listening to some gospel music and i listened to um uh, togo zombambo malibongwe guys malibongwe is taking us to heaven i tell you if christ would come now to fetch us runabayang heaven <laughs> We are going up ro elevator ka malibongwe I am telling Oh my gosh that song is amazing like Ndogozo Mbambo never disappoints she makes sure she gives it her all like she uses her voice to worship the Lord you understand she knows exactly why she's here on earth Malibongwe finished my Sunday kura ka I didn't go to church and I feel like no I did go to church because that that song gave me the whole message. It gives you everything. It gives you just the word of God, the presence of the Lord, everything. Amazing, amazing. So, guys, please spend your Sundays and listen to <laughs> listen to Tintagos on Bamboo. Guys, let's go. I'm talking too much. Bye.
what, what does it mean to me? It means more work. It means more accountability. It means more responsibility. And you can never raise kids alone. Yeah. As a couple. You always need people to raise kids with. And, and you guys being here is part of raising the kids. You play a role of helping us to, to raise these kids. And you might think maybe it's just for entertainment. I hope not. But it's, it's adding a lot of it. Because when you look into, into the Bible, I know she's going to just give it to me and not right now and go that direction. <laughs> but when you look into the Bible, and an discussion with me the other day, that immediately when I said, I said to you, baby shower, baby shower is given to that. I said, I said baby, baby shower is given I don't know who came up with this word, but it's biblical. I always relate everything to the Bible. And when I look at the Bible, Jesus Christ, when he was born, on the day he was born, mm. on the night he was born, there was baby shower. Mm. I don't know how to call it in the day, but there was baby shower. And who made that baby shower? God. God organized three wise men, take gifts, take to Jesus Christ and his parents on the spot. And whoever came up with this, I don't know if they came, took it from, from the Bible. If not, maybe it was just an inspired you know, mm. thought from God. And today, I'm sitting here and I see three wise men in all of you. That God touched you. God spoke to your heart. And to say, you know what? Luke was born and he sent you over to us. And it's so obvious that you didn't come and stand it over his table set mm. and or eaten, you know, these beautiful starters. And God is using you. And my prayer to you is that, you know, whatever you have, whatever it is, whether thought, whether, you know, financially, emotionally, may the good God bring back to you a hundredfold. Amen. Amen. I always, I always say, I'm, the last thing I'm keeping <laughs> I always say this. Whatever you give, and however you give it, and whatever it is, expect a hundred percent. Amen. In, in other words, in other words, if you've, if, if you've used a one rent in this day, go back in, in times one rent times hundred times. Amen. If it's the love you have, if you give so much love, you expect God to bring back love to you. And I, I, and, and I, I pray a blessing upon each and every one for your effort and for your involvement in this. And, and may the good God do you well. Go back to your lives, whatever you need, whatever you're going through. May the good God meet you wherever there's gap in your lives. Mm. Actually, from today, you will experience the great abundance of God. Amen. Thank you very much for my son as a father. Yes, <laughs> a father of three. Father <laughs> Abraham. <laughs> 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 <That's the issue. laughs> so thank you so much. And I want to encourage you that guys, my wife needs you. Mm -hmm. uh, and keep on being there for her. Keep on supporting you in good relationships. And you so much to us. It doesn't mean that's not Show me this, show me this. Even, even, hold. He calls you. Tell me about this. So, you, you've become part of our family. You've become part of, part of our marriage. And it's exciting. And I thank God for you. May the God bless you. Let me keep on. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for coming. And then thank you for organizing the baby shower. You're um, blown away by the table. Everyone for condoling and thank you so much. I think we will do that. <laughs> like always. Like always. Like I'm doing that I need it like one. Okay, thank you guys for coming. Thank you. 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 Th
is like thank you so much like you thank you that's all i can say thank you thank you <laughs> happy happy women's day happy women's day to all the women in this world it is a wonderful day a great day that the lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad and look precious and feel good and smell good <laughs> it's the 9th of august guys it's a holiday i'm just glad it's a holiday first first thing first i am glad it's a holiday even though i'm working over time i worked overnight but yeah, it is a holiday and um, the last time I had this camera, I was so angry at myself. I vlogged the whole baby shower on slow motion. Guys, when you vlog the whole event on slow motion, I wished that like Mudimu Anse right now. Nikki Misha God, take me now. How do I vlog the whole thing in slow motion? How? What did I press? What did I do? Okay, but I was so angry. I didn't want to do check i couldn't even edit like when i looked at the footage i was like how can i do this to myself but i had to improvise and another thing when you vlog on slow motion it goes on mute you can't even like fast forward it to be on normal um speed and whatnot it just mutes and then it does everything on slow motion but anyway it's okay um it is what it is okay today i'm nervous today i'm so nervous i'm going to a women's day event the theme of the event is first love yourself and i'm one of the speakers there gosh like i don't know i've never been so nervous i am shitting my pants right now <laughs> i am tatazeli i am teka taking um i haven't had enough time to prepare because of work and other stuff so i don't know i don't know guys but i'm just trusting in the lord i'll speak from my heart <laughs> i've made a few notes few pointers but like i feel so under prepared under pressure like that's that's not me but anyway it's okay the message is first love yourself guys put yourself first love yourself it's women's day it is women's month we just need to remind ourselves this month is just a reminder we don't just do it on on august fail but it's a a, a month just to remind us women uh, how to take care of ourselves how to love ourselves how to put ourselves first but yeah let me not talk too much guys the next thing i'm on slow motion again <laughs> hmm? My mom is still here. Mm -hmm, I'm still here. Ari. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. I think I look okay, ne? I look proper. I don't know. I'd like to believe. So yeah, guys, let us go. I'm already late. It's ten past nine. We were supposed to be there by nine o'clock but the event starts at 10 so i'm on time for the event so yeah guys let's talk later okay z we have arrived at our venue <laughs> i'm with a jabu leader <laughs> hi one honeybee of the, one of the guest speakers we've got pasta hi honeybees <laughs> Guys, it's clipped together. Okay, like enough and good enough for us. We are on time. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> Hello, darling. How are you? Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> now this is what I want you to take away today. Today, I know how to do seminars. We go out and we have to do list. How does one more? We have a to do list. Now I want whatever that is going to be said today that you implement immediately. Yeah. You don't have a to do list. Do not do a to do list. It is not about your marriage. It is not about your husband. It is not about your children. It is not about anything else but yourself. So anything that is about you, you don't need to go and consult someone. Who do I need to? You need to implement. How to We implement whatever that you need to take out of here. You need to implement it today. It is about loving yourself. So I was looking at the flowers, ne, Pastor Sasa. Mm. The flowers that I go with, I need to buy a cafe where I can take it. Shame. Say, but I get the same. I come to my land and I don't have to buy more And those those flowers that go with, those those ones, you know, so we can go go meeting for a while. Flowers has the ones that are in the soil. And then they have the ones that is only the stem that you put on in the water. Now the one that you put in the water doesn't last because it doesn't have roots. Yes. The one that you buy in Ali, the soil, it has the roots. And that is the one that grows. That one high lasting. That one yeah last. The soil of your heart, the soil of your heart, you telling yourself that you love yourself, that is what is going to make you grow. If you don't have the roots now, the roots is you being rooted in Christ. Before you can love anyone else, you know that Christ loved you, and when He loved you, He ukinze le rato la chache mohuena, and na ukinze le rato la chache mohuena, it is very easy for you to love others. But if you have not accepted that le rato la chache le kamo chare chacho, it will not be easy for you to love others. So, a garden cannot grow without food, without water. Like the flower, it won't grow if you're not going to water it. It won't grow. Your marriage cannot grow without the investment of your work, your time, and your effort. You cannot love others from an angry, empty, broken heart. You can't love others if when you are broken. You need to be mended first before you can love others. You cannot love others well when your life is full of fear and self doubt. Yeah. If when as a man we doubt that, tandi, okase ko rate baba we, because you are still doubting yourself. So when we love ourselves, we are investing in our hearts. And I want to, I want you to think about your heart as the as as, as the soil. So your heart is the soil. So once you water it, when I water, when when you are rooted in Christ, your heart is the soil. When you are connecting with Christ, you grow. Your love grows deeper in Him. And when your love grows deeper in Him, you grow. And as you grow, other people can see your growth, and other people are also getting the fruits from that growth. Because you have shown that you have loved yourself from the one who created you I to love you. I've got a son who is 15 years. I had a child when I was 18. I got pregnant when I was 17. I remember my story when I said to my grandmother, I want to make an abortion. I said to my grandmother, I said to my Okay, then my grand, my grandmother passed on when I was pregnant. Can any matter what case keep keep on one over the man? And then my mom was there, and then my mom. I got the whole paper. My child went there, my mom passed on. Oh, I was like, hi, oh, guys, these people say I must keep this child because now they're leaving. Sure. Yeah. What must I do with this child? <laughs> Never meet a metric because I couldn't do my metric. I wrote my test in one year meds. <laughs> And I left school because I had to look after my mom and my child. And I was so upset, very, very upset with my child. And I said, I don't have my trick. It's you. That's me. I don't have my trick every time. I remember I mixed a bottle of cheek and whatever. And whatever <coughs> I mixed. And I was like, me and you now. We are joining these two people. Like, what I mean? That is me and you now. And the lady got next door, I don't know what happened. 
knocked and then opened, find me there crying, but mixed with everything. You know, because I read it fast, fast, and then make it so. Sure. And like, my plan didn't go accordingly. Today, he's a handsome boy. Mm, yeah. Very. Very handsome. But when I look back, I'm like, God, what, what happened? What happened, you know? And from 2008, I struggled. No, yeah, 2008. That's when I didn't love myself. I never see any point of me to be alive. I did my magic when I was 25 years. Mm -hmm. 25 years old and I went back. Mm -hmm. And I still was struggling with depression. Depression, anxiety, that was a problem. I didn't love myself. But I believed in myself also. And I said, I'm going to do it. But there's that thing of saying, you are not worth it, you, nobody loves you, you've got a kid, who's going to love you? you? You are nothing. And I'm coming from a background of a poor family. 2020, I was working I was working from home. Switch off my, like, my computer, then something came up, you are not worth it, you are nothing. I remember I drank a wine, mixed it with spirit and pills. You fake, you forget everything. That handsome boy only even then, I forgot about him. I was like, ah, like it becomes totally everything goes down, you become blank. When somebody says, Now I'm come to your society, and then you judge, and I like, I wish I can tell you because I know I know what that person went through because of the thing about loving ourselves, the topic is very important about loving ourselves because I had to reflect on myself. And I remember I, I drank those things. I remember I was in a shower, but I woke up in hospital. A friend, I didn't, I didn't lock the door, I left the key. When I woke up in the hospital, I was angry. I was angry, and I feel like, do you know that I'm fighting my life every day? Mm. Every day before I get something, I need to fight, you know? And to a point where I had friends, my friends were buying cars. I'm, not, I'm a person that who loves, and I, I, like, I will be applauding, I'll be so happy like when you buy a car and get a gang. But to a point where there was a point where I was like, I can't, I'm saying congratulations, but I'm not meaning it. I was saying to you, congratulations, but more alone in my corner, and I say, Mara, why not me? Why not me? And I know Lindsay, I know the word, what the word says. But I go back and I say, Mara Mutimu, but what about me? What have I done? And then I tried, I stayed. I remember 2021 was a challenging year. I don't have a job, I'm renting, I have a kid, and I was like, I was a mess. If I could show you my pictures between now and then, and people said I look beautiful. Do you know a year I was never an excited was spilling? A whole year, 2021. You need to forgive yourself. For me to heal, I had to forgive myself. Mm, sure. How can you love yourself? Was I healer? How can I attract a love if I can alone? Yeah. If, I, if I didn't heal, I wouldn't be standing here. Grace carried me. Come on. Yeah. And God, I prayed and I kept doing that. So I just like to start by giving you a bit of a background. young in this self. Or, or putting yourself first, Jenny. Kurgi Gregi, really confident enough to say, I love myself and I've put myself, I'm putting myself first. Because honestly, it's not a, a, a done deal thing. It's a thing that I do every day or a thing that we, we grow into it on a daily basis. So growing up, I always told myself, uh, I'm going to get married at the age of 25, have kids, have money. That, that was just my dream or that was just 
Yeah. That was the only thing that was there, you know. So I got married at the age of 25. Thank you to the Lord is what I prayed for, wished for, thank God. Okay, don't clap hands first, but anyway. <laughs> Okay, so during my process or during uh, my marriage years, uh, I always tell my friends, Hori, and some of them disagree with me. Hori, I got married young. To me, 25 years was young. And I only see it now that I'm 35 years old. Ne? Okay, it's me, disclaimer. Ne? It's, 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 it's my experience. Other people feel, ah, 25 is a good age. I, I, I get to Asia right, the cafe, but with me, 25, I was still young. All I knew at 25 years old is that I just want to get married and have kids. That's it, you know? Sharp. Okay, I am married. I'm going through the journey. All I do in this period of getting married is just living for my husband and my kids. Mm. And I feel like I've lost myself, you know? I completely lost myself. I know that when we get married, we are one. Yes, there's nothing wrong with that. But me being one with my husband, I completely lost me somewhere. Like, I can't find myself. I can't find me in this marriage. Uh, the same event that Jabli is speaking about, uh, yeah, spiritual truth, that's where I also met Debo. So a lot happens in, in my marriage, a lot of challenges. Good challenge don't get me wrong marriage is a great thing i recommend it any given day but i'm just saying the challenges or the struggles that we experience in our marriage and also i just man who who am i actually here ne? So um, every time in my marriage when we have problems or whatever, I feel like this guy is not loving me the way I want him to love me. Little did I know that I can't even love myself the way I want him to love me, you know. And then I expected him, I, like, I, I, I put my happiness I put my peace in, in, in his hands. expect to pay heaven and earth and everything. And I forgot that no, darling, he also needs his own things. He also needs to find himself. So throughout these years, uh, I discovered only later, holy, you know what? A lot of things I wanted to change. I also wanted to change him. I, I was like almost like God. What I want to, who am I to want another person to be what I want? Who am I? You know, so that, that that those were the things I was doing throughout these ten years, and I wasn't aware. What 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 did I do in all these situations? What did I do to change things? You know, I was trying to feel someone, and my cup is empty. Like I was pouring. So my cup was so filled and I came back and I just heard God saying, Zala, you know, change you, work on you. That's when I believe my journey of taking care of me, of taking care of my peace, my space, that's where it started. That's when I started to think, oh my gosh, should this guy leave me? I'm dead. Yeah. Why am I dependent on him making me happy and not making myself happy? Oh my gosh, it changed my life. From then, I tell you, I was so intentional about doing things for myself. Yeah. And when I say doing things, I'm not talking about materialistic things only. I was intentional about spending my time without him. Wow. intentional about spending my time without my kids but i'm a woman before anything else yeah. so i'm me i am balancing before i met him before i've got kids so where is balancing so i had to do a self-introspection 
and look at myself and say, why don't you start doing things that you love? Why don't you start spending time with yourself? Understand yourself. So that's where I started. Mm -hmm. I started creating peace, number one. Because one thing I remember when we went to the retreat, we were asked um, the expectations out of the, the retreat. And I remember one thing was peace. Hey, yeah, peace. The good next now caught on it, and no, 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 you know how as gorgeous as I am, and you think, oh, she's got it all figured out. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have peace, so I asked God, please let me create peace for myself, you know, and I don't want to lie. That was my starting point. Sure. That was my starting point on how I, who do I surround myself with, number one. Mm. The kind of friends that uh -huh. I have. Yes. The kind of places where I go. Yes. The things that I watch. Yes. Now my friends know I, I watch TV. I watch a lot of things on TV. But I started watching things that are building. I started watching podcasts that are building. I started creating an environment for me and him whereby we can make our own, like on my marriage counseling, we watch TD Jakes or whatever, these marriage seminars that you get on YouTube, we take chairs and put them in front of the TV. As if it is marriage counsel, you know? Because sometimes, you, you you think you need money to create yeah, peace for yourself. Yeah, you want yeah, to yeah, wait for the right time yeah, to say, Ooh, it can create a peace. But I, I had or we had to create it with what we have at home. If we didn't have money, sometimes you look at things and like, wait a picnic, we had to and do little picnic things. So let's have a biscuit is and like a little picnic there just to create an environment because I believe that I was more complaining than doing something. something. Be the change that you want to be. So it, it you know, we, we say them, we would say, hey, I, I love myself. I love myself. But any actions that you do, because also loving yourself is not just words that, that you say, but it's an action that you choose to make every morning. You need to intentionally do the things that will show yourself that you are loving yourself. The words of affirmation, like yes. waking up, the, the words that you're telling us now, I had to learn, oh, I need to just watch more mirroring, fella. So I do that with my kids and stand in the mirror and I love myself. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, just to make sure that even the, the things that I'm trying to learn or the things that I'm learning, let me pull them forward and back because I don't want them I want them to grow up knowing you're doing things for yourself. Yes. Not for we are all doing these things. So because we are being built for someone else. So I had to and learn, you know, and, and learn other things. No, this is what I need to do for myself. I need to build my confidence. It's not like I'm confident, but anyway. <laughs> I had to learn for But I say, the way Ulinka thing, I, my friends know I'm obsessed about weight. I want to gain weight so much. <laughs> I, have to, I do, honestly. I do, honestly. Size 30, 30, 32, 
this is how you wear for it this is you know just mm -hmm. to make sure that i work with what i have yeah. because if you're gonna want to want other things yeah. that you can have or that yeah. you can control you start that over envious you start being yeah. jealous you start being yeah. angry you start being miserable yeah. so yeah. i had to learn oh, okay sharp why did somebody do what i'm getting married why are you so fit to go work with what you have why are you so fit to go to a way but work with what you have so those are the things that i'm learning in my journey i also had to learn not to compare yeah. mm -hmm. because as friends like i really say we check okay mm -hmm. and uh, i am learning i am learning even now that I need to stay in my lane. Yes. I need to stay where my God voice. puts me to be, where He's taking me to be. If it's not here now, stick with it. Drink water, mind your own business, stick to your lane. You will get where where God wants you to be. So it's a, a, a it's part of the things that will give you peace. It's a utla ho utla ho rolalo because. You start living your life and forget to live your life and miss your journey and miss what God wants, where God wants you to be. In my life, where people were supposed to cover me, yeah. the people I trusted, the people I told every single thing, the people. They still remember I'm the servant of the most high. That does not change. Yes. Uh -huh. one, of, one of my pastor friends was saying to me, Nana, they don't understand. Uh -huh. Then the Bible says, Text not the anointed. Uh -huh. It does not say uh -huh. what kind of uh -huh. are we talking about? Uh -huh. Jesus. Oh, sure. Oh. Hallelujah. When I got divorced, <laughs> yes, I'm a divorcee, Mama. I'm 33 years that I'm divorced. <laughs> when I walked in the street, it was like my child, my mother, my mother. <laughs> but I still had friends. But I hook up and it did not matter the stigma that I carried. Yeah. They will always be with me. Right. I have people that believed in my calling. Regardless of the stigma, oh they still called me. But it's just in that time. We know you're going through something, but it's something that God has deposited in you. And that is what we want. Jesus. No man is an island. Mm. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, no man is an island. No man is an island. You need, you need a sister. You, you, you need a sister. You need a mother. You need a partner. You need someone that when they look at you, yes. they will look at you with the eyes of God. Yes. Not the eyes of just human beings. Yes. The eyes when that it looks at you, it knows the potential that you carry. Not what the world sees. There are a lot of people that thought I would leave my calling. Sure. Because I went through a lot of things sure. very young. Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine that they're three years and I'm divorced. I mean, hello. How can, how can somebody divorce such hot potatoes? <laughs> 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 Why are you so hot? But, Basalwag, I am not promoting divorce. Never mm -hmm. Share mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But for my ministry, it had to happen. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
Because if I was still married, I would not be here. Yeah. The dude did not like it when I do these things. Sure. Even though he knew that he's marrying a pastor, we are both pastors. Mm. But he wanted me to be the woman behind. Mm. Yes. Yet he knew that this woman has a shiny star that is up there. But he was, so for it to happen, it allowed me to stretch. Mm. I can go anywhere now. Yeah. Leo is not allowed to tell you to discover the baby. They have made marriage an idol. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yes. That God yeah. cannot even show up. Yeah. That is why anything that is an idol, <laughs> it's not going to work. Mm. It's not going to work. I don't know. Love never gives up. Never loses faith, mm. is always hopeful, mm. and endures through every second. Learn to study the word of God. The word of God will tell you who and what you are. Don't reflect on social media. You can only reflect on my TikTok, obviously. I can't give it Leave the others. Huh? Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, God loves you. How fast I learn to love yourself more. Learn to love yourself more. Learn to smile. Learn to smile. You are fully functional. Hallelujah. May the good Lord bless you. May His glory shine upon you. Amen. got home around half past six to seven and I opened my work laptop and I did overtime. I'm exhausted. I've never been this tired in my life. <laughs> okay guys, I just want to close this vlog. I don't want to waste time. I'm sure this video or this vlog is already long. Thank you for um, coming with me, go baby showering and um, at the Women's Day event today. I got a really biggie. This is cute. Okay, this is the water bottles that we had during the service and the totally goodie baggy. Inside the goodie baggy. Okay, let me see. It says to balise. Mm, cute man. We got a coffee mug. 
so cute and a key holder i love it for myself i love it thank you for attending fly seminar the pusha mugel pusha mugel fly meaning first love yourself this was an awesome event guys this was a great event i was so nervous for my life i almost peed my pants but um i just got into it as soon as i started talking i just opened up and i started being warm and comfortable to speak to the ladies so i had a great great time thank you to Debo Hoshwai for inviting me for trusting me to speak in her event i thank you so much cheers to many more many 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 more <laughs> god bless you guys i love you so much enjoy your women's month and i hope you did enjoy your women's day um thank you so much please remember to subscribe remember to like comment and share bye <laughs>